it's Cody Mine here. And as you can see, um, yeah, yeah, as you can see, I'm in my video world with all my decorative heads over there, including myself, like all over there. Anyways, today I'll be doing something a bit different, and I will be showing you guys how to make a double barrel TNT cannon. Um, yeah. Okay. I'll just show you. Whoops, that wasn't supposed to happen. No one saw that. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll show you how this will work. I mean, I'll prove it to you that it will work. First, you place all the TNT right there. And you place this TNT right here. Don't worry, guys. I'll be showing you um, guys how to make this thing, thingy, or whatever you want to call it, or cannon. Um. Uh, later. So yeah, you press the button, and that pops. As you can see, um, it doesn't go that far, but it's pretty good, because it's double barrel. Yeah, twice the power. And yeah, for now, I'll be showing you how to make it. Okay, first, you need a flat piece, um, flat platform of land. Like, this is a very good place. So, this is option. It's optional, like, whether you want to build your cannon out of obsidian or not. Because if you, like, fail and, like, blow up and mess up your cannon, it won't, like, blow up if it's obsidian. So, yeah, you need a flat place. And then, um, you don't need your base block. That's optional, too. Okay. Just build just like me. Um, build with me on your Minecraft. Just minimize your Minecraft um, s um, screen size. And like fit the video in your screen too. Okay, go right with me. Just build, okay. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine blocks. And then place an obsidian block right there. And there's another row that runs all the way down. But it stops right here. And go here. Repeat the same thing as we did with the other side. And go all the way over here. Okay. Now it's time to use some slabs. Yeah, slabs. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Ah, uh, we can use some slabs now. This is all. Awesome. Uh, slabs, 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 slabs. Yeah, slabs. Anyway, yeah. Okay, now, now what you will want to do is place a piece of obsidian right here. No, sorry, right here, and then place a button right here. I recommend using a stone button rather than a wood but wooden button because if like a skeleton shoots your um button or a wooden button, it'll just automatically like, trigger your thing and something disastrous may happen. So uh, yeah, stone buttons I thought it wouldn't get affected by bows. Let's just see right here, let's just prove this fact. Oh wait, I, I, I see it doesn't get affected now for the second test. Oh wait, no, I'm pressing the button will definitely make it trigger. See, um, the arrows are infected. Okay, now that I've showed you that, we will start placing the redstone. One, two, three, four, five. And also, um... This is the place where you where you will fire the project um your TNT that's gonna be well no yeah you're gonna place your more TNT here and these pieces of TNT right here and right here are gonna are gonna be the ones that fly or whatever or that get launched there we go that's the right word 
Okay, good. Um, actually, I think we can make this cannon a bit more powerful by making it longer. That's what she said, but, um, yeah. Okay. It, I just, okay. I thought water flows only nine blocks, but then I guess it flows more because, yeah. Because, yeah, look at that depth. It should flow like one more block. Anyways, so next step is that we place even more redstone. So we go over here, 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 there. Start placing one, two, three, four, and five redstone repeaters. And set them all on, um, wait, how many ticks is that? One, two, three, four ticks. One, two, three. No! I was wrong. No, that. Okay, wait. No, that's the first tick. So, one, two, three, four. So, yeah, four ticks. You place that redstone right here so it connects to that TNT right over there. And what you want to do next is repeat that same step on the other side. One, two, three, four. I thought so. I, I, I was like, what? I, I, I got confused. Sorry, guys. Actually, I kind of recommend putting the last repeater on the second tick. And yeah. It's nearly complete. And you could decorate it if you want to put slabs over here. Uh, yeah. If you want to decorate, sure, but whatever you do, don't place any blocks right there. Like, just as I did. Just don't do that. Okay. Sorry, I need to close my door because people are making loud noises. Just don't, don't ever place a block right there unless you want your TNT it can explode and do it for some fun experience just don't place a block there okay because the redstone will power this block and that power block will power the TNT before this redstone current reaches the TNT and they will explode at the same time and this TNT will cause everything around it to break that was kind of confusing <laughs> okay that doesn't matter okay you're allowed to place blocks here Obviously, because it doesn't really affect the redstone current. Um, I'm placing these slabs above the TNT so that it stabilizes the shot, so it goes straight. Yeah. Oh wait, I should. Yeah, just place these. Okay, you don't have. It's that part is optional. Okay, yeah, we're basically done then. Test fire. <gasps> oh, I made a big mistake. Oh, thank God. It didn't blow up. Sorry, guys, don't ever do that. Always remember to put a piece of redstone right here so that your other piece of redstone will explode too. Sorry, you guys. Okay. I'm gonna cut that part, maybe. If you guys are seeing, if you guys already saw that failure, just comment and spam in the comment section below. Like, oh, 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 you failed. Anyways, um. See, there you go. Double barrel reds. TNT cannon. I almost said redstone. Yeah. That's about it, guys. And subscribe. He 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 Subscribe and like for baking.